In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about a couple of uh, other Criteria API features. Uh, the first one I'm going to talk about is projections, and the second one is uh, query by example. Uh, there are a lot of things you can do with projections. I'm just going to cover some of the basics, and uh, if time permits, I'm going to create a few more uh, videos that explain projections in a bit more detail. But at a very high level, uh, one of the uses of projections is to is to implement uh, any aggregation functions or any grouping functions. So, for example, I want to return the maximum user ID in my uh, user table. One way to do this is by using projections. So here's how it's going to work. Now I have um, a create criteria of user details. So I know that uh, I'm pulling up data from my user details table, but now I need to tell Hibernate to pull up the top ID, the maximum ID from the table. So in uh, HQL or probably in, even in SQL, the way I would do that is I would say a select max of the user ID, but how would I do that in uh, Criteria API? So the way I do this in Criteria API is by using a dot projection. Again, note that uh, we have uh, session dot create criteria dot and so on. So that's how it goes. We are uh, we are able to chain these um, different methods. So it works for projection also. So I do a set projection. Okay. Now here what I can do is I can set projection for whatever data that I need. Actually, it's also handy if you want to pull up just one field. It's not even about aggregate. So let's say I want to pull up just the user ID. So what I can do is I can do a projections dot property. And uh, here I can give user ID or I can give user name. So what happens is instead of pulling up the entire object, it's going to give me just the property that I am asking it to give. So this is this is handy. Actually, you can uh, you can pull up only one property or only the properties that you want and not the entire object. So I will have to import projections. So uh, this is going to return me just the user ID. So this is one way we can use projections, but the other way is uh, to return any aggregation or uh, any functions. So for example, I want to get the, the maximum user ID I was telling you about. So what I do is I do a projections dot. Again, if you do a control space, you get all these different uh, functions here. You have the count, you have uh, the max, min. So let me take max. So again, it just takes the property. So I will pass the user ID. So it's going to return me the max of the user ID. So count would return me the count. So here again, these are the different options that you have. If you want to return all the values of a particular column alone and not the whole object, you would use projections.property. If you need other aggregation functions or something like that, you would use the function itself. You can access it using the projections dart. Okay, so this is one uh, this is one topic that I want to talk about. The other thing that I want to talk about is the order. You can actually sort all these uh, output results. And uh, I do that by using the again, I, I'm chaining this here, I'm not opening a new one, I'm going to chain dart, there is this add order. Now, add order takes a parameter, which is uh, again, an order object. So I will have to do a order dot. And now which order I want, whether I want it as ascending or descending. So let's say I want a descending order of the user ID. So here I mentioned the property. And these two don't go together. Let me remove this. Uh, if I just enter one uh, ID, you would not be able to see that. So let's uh, let's run this now. Okay, let me run and show you. Okay, so here it's returning the list of users in descending order. Okay, so now what happens if I add this one here? Okay, if I change this to a 
property. I'm going to remove this. So what happens if you use any of these set projections? What's going to happen is the return type that you get is no longer going to be a list of user details. Here we have assumed that the list is going to be a list of user details. But if you set any projection, whether you set it at a property so that only the user IDs come up, or you set any aggregation function like a count or a max, no matter what you do here with the projections, the end result list is not going to be a list of user details anymore. So I'm not going to run this because I will have to change uh, change all these things. So in the interest of time, I'll just leave this as it is. You can probably try this out and uh, see what kind of a list you get. But essentially what happens is in this case, since I'm uh, getting only the user IDs, it's going to be a list of user IDs. It's not going to be a list of user details. Okay, so this is um, this is projections at a high level. Again, um, this is how you can control the type of data that you're getting. First of all, you can choose the columns. The second thing is you can uh, you can run any aggregate functions. Okay, now there is this other thing that I want to show you, which is uh, querying by example. Querying by example is a handy way if you have. Uh, too many properties and too many uh, criteria values to satisfy. So let's say I have an object which has uh, 10 fields and uh, you have values for five fields. Let's say I want to pull up uh, all the records with, uh, with ID 1, with uh, age uh, 20 and uh, with pin code some 1002, something like that. So I have specific values for half of the properties, say. Now, creating a criteria object for all of them is going to be a pain. I need to do a, you know, dot add, dot add, and I need to create all these restrictions. So a handy way to do this is by using this query by example. So the way to do this is by creating an example object and hand it over to Hibernate and say, hey, give me all objects which look like this, <laughs> in essence. So let me just create a user details object. Example user. Of course, here I don't have a lot of um, a lot of properties. So you know, you, this the true value of this is when you have a lot of properties. It's going to save you a lot of uh, restrictions to be created. I'll say new user details, and I will say example user dot set user ID. As five. Now I can add as many restrictions as I want here by uh, setting the values for this example user. So whatever value I want in my result set, I set all of them over here. Now the username this is user five. Now why am I setting both of them? Um, it's not required, it's optional, but I'll show you how you can make it optional. But uh, if you're not doing anything else, you're just passing the example object, it will uh, compare all the fields. So yeah, so this is my example object. Um, I have five as the ID, and this is the name. Now, what I'll do is I'll create an example of Hibernate, uh, example criteria that Hibernate can use. And I do that by using example equals example dot create. Now in my example dot create, I pass this example user object. So this will tell Hibernate that I'm interested in creating an example out of this object. And uh, I will pass this to the, you know, the criteria so that it pulls up all the objects that look like this. So let me remove this. So here I create the criteria and then I do a dot add and here I pass my example. Okay, so now if I run this, it returns me user five. Okay, but now you might be wondering what's the fun in this? I'm passing, uh, I'm setting both the values of this, um, of this example object. Now take for example, I, I skip this. Say I do not enter the username. Now what's going to happen is 
it's going to return me everything the reason for that is there is nothing in the username notice what happens when i um, uncomment this line and comment this one out it returns me user fi even though there is nothing in the id so the the concept here is that uh, hibernate ignores two things when it comes to taking an example the first thing is if any of the properties has a value of null then it's not going to consider that and the second thing is if a property happens to be a primary key then it's not going to consider that so apart from null properties and primary key properties if you have set any value in any of the properties then that is what hibernate considers when it's pulling up data so this is a uh, this is actually handy because again as i told you if you have a whole lot of properties that uh, you need to set in your query you don't have to do that you can just create an object which has all those properties set and uh, you can um, you can get the values now say for example i have 10 properties in my object and uh, i know that some property is going to have a value or it might have a value and i don't want hibernate to consider that property in that case what i can do is i can ask hibernate to ignore values of any of those properties so when i'm creating my example here when i'm creating the example uh, from my object so what i can do is i can do a dot exclude property and in my exclude property i can give the name of the property that i do not want hibernate to consider when it is taking this as an example so say i have five properties and then one of them has a value that i don't want to be considered for my uh, result list then i can say dot exclude property of that property name and of course i can change this as well i can do as many dot exclude properties as i want and of course if you exclude all the properties you're just left with the primary key which is not considered and it's going to return all the records so this is a high level view of uh, query by example there are other uses of query by example you can use like as well so uh, let's say for example i remove this i have just set the username as user um, let me say one now let's say i'm going to pull up all the usernames which start with user one so in that case i will have to put a percentage here okay now what i do is when i'm creating the example here i change this other command enable like so when i run this it's going to return me user 1 and user 10 because it's enabled the like operation. So these are a few ways uh, in which you can use query by example. Hope this was helpful.